This is my true form. <laughs> now, what's up, YouTube? It's Cool Story Bro back here. I'm bringing you my ninth narrative Wi Fi battle. This is against my friend Flame TF. Uh, well, this is a flat rules battle, as you can see. It's a three on three. They're all level 50. I'm perfectly fine with that. He doesn't really have a team of level 100s that he wanted to use, but that's okay. That is okay. So, let's get into this. We have some very similar thought patterns here. We both lead off with a semi bulky flying type. He leads off with his Synapse, his Togekiss. I lead off with Lil' Kim. For those of you who don't know, Lil' Kim, the rapper, used to call herself the Queen Bee back in the day. That reference went over your heads. So, I, I start off with Protect, just to see what he's going to do. He tries the Thunder Wave. I'm like, oh god. It's the Thunder Wave and Air Slash Togekiss, my favorite kind. So, after I get paralyzed, I go for the Toxic. And lo and behold, he has a Lumberry. Cures him with a Poisoning status from Toxic. He gets the air slash off on me. I flinch. Ugh. This is why I hate that Toga. This is why I hate Toga Kiss so much. So I, I try to go for a protect again. I want to get a little bit of health back and hoping I can at least take another air slash. But unfortunately, I don't take the air slash. Lil Kim faints. And I decide to send on my Chandelure. Because you know what you know about revenge killing. And I go for the night days. And his Togekiss takes a pretty decent amount of damage, lowers his accuracy, thank god, because he misses Thunder Wave because of the lowered accuracy. I go for another Night Days. Bam. He's not down just yet, but he knows the deal now. He aura spheres, and lo and behold, once more, the Pyro is a spy. The Pyro is a spy, gentlemen. So, I go for the Flamethrower because it is the most accuracy out of all my moves on this thing here. And his Togekiss goes down, thank God, because I hate it. And so he sends out Cecilia. And great minds think alike right here. We both sent out a Zoroark disguised as a purple ghost. Ha ha ha. I ain't see that one coming. So that was a good play on his part. He U-turns and finishes off my own spy with his. And he brings out the real Cecilia. The real Miss Magius. And I bring out Chandelure. The real Chandelure. So I go for the flamethrower because I'm locked in a choice scarf. I have choice scarf, so I'm locked in it just using flamethrower. So he goes for the substitute. Now, why he went for substitute instead of shadow ball, I'll tell you in a little bit. So I go for the flamethrower again because I'll speed. That kills off his Cecilia, and all he has left is his Zoroark. And thankfully, it does not have sucker punch for physical variety. So I flamethrower that too, and that is good game flame TF. Thank you guys for watching. Now. He said he didn't use Shadow Ball straight off the get because one, he didn't expect a choice scarf, and two, he was like hoping I didn't use like a straight attacking move. He's hoping I might have used Calm Mind or something maybe. And he said his Miss Magius is one of the bulk up kind, like not bulk up, one of the like substitute and Calm Mind varieties. Like he'll use substitute, use Calm Mind a few times, and then start sweeping with Shadow Ball. But it's all good though. It was a good game regardless. You know, sometimes you don't see things coming. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'm trying to get three battles uploaded today. This is going to be a chore.